Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control a servo using a potentiometer and also display the value on the screen. Here it shows the potentiometer value and also shows the angle. As you can see now it's at 49 degrees, fully rotated, it's now 180 and so forth. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This project is a combination of working with this LCD and working with a servo. I have separate video for this one and separate video for this one. I will provide the link. Make sure that you first do this one separately and make sure it works. Once this is resolved, go for this video separately and do this and make sure it works. Then come and combine it together and the code that I've provided will work perfectly. Let me explain the wiring. The first thing is this uh, potentiometer. The potentiometer, this potentiometer has three wire. I have another video explaining how to use knob this with potentiometer but quickly it has three wires the middle one is connected to a zero and then these two one of them will be connected to five volts the other one will be connected to ground so on these two sides five volts and ground and then that's to a zero and the servo has three wires so the one of the wire is connected this darker this darker wire is connected to the ground the middle one is connected to 5 volts and then the right one is connected to the pen 9 here at this area. For the LCD, the wiring I have shown also here and also make sure you understand it here. I have another video explaining this fully but this illustration is very very clear and we have, we have all these pens that you see here they're all mentioned this is the LCD and then we have VFS which is the last one will be connected to ground or W will be connected to ground and then VDD will be connected to 5 volts so we have VDD this VDD will be connected to 5 volts and so the, the E will be connected to pin 11 digital pin 11 and RS will be connected to 12 and the rest these four wires here as you can see it D84, 85, 86 uh, will be connected to uh, 2, 3, 4 and 5 these accordingly will be connected so these are connected together on the Arduino and then the LED will be connected through uh, this uh, to the ground this goes from the other side it comes this is a wire that comes to the ground so from the LED here we have 220 ohm to the 5 volts this is a 5 volt and then from the potentiometer which is a 10 kilo ohm the middle wire is connected to V0 so this is the 220 ohm it goes to positive so this 220 goes to positive. The positive on this side, the positive and negative have been connected. So the negative is connected to the ground and positive is connected to this 5 volts. So I have this two line as 5 volts and this is connected to 5 volts. And then this blue line that you see it here, the second line is connected to LED, to anode, to anode of the LED. The potentiometer is written as 103, that is 1 and 0, and then 3 way means 3, 0, that's a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. The two wire of this one is one is connected to a negative, the other one is connected to a positive, and the middle one, which is the orange, have been uh, connected to the V0 here. As, as you can see here, the middle one is the V0. So this V0 is connected to the middle of potentiometer. One thing to mention that uh, I have included this 
uh, capacitor 470 microfarad you can put 220 and above 10 volts because if I remove this uh, somehow when the servo starts rotating it interferes and the short one is a negative and the long one is a positive you just put it the, between a positive and negative terminal and it will filter any noise that is created by the by the servo let me explain now the code uh, the first line here this, these are the comments the main source that I took the code for the LCD is also mentioned here so the liquidcrystal.h is part of the library that is coming here in your library you can I pr provide the link for you so you can download it but usually your, your Arduino should have it you can see it as file example and then liquid cluster and also there are two liquid clusters if not just download it from the link that I provide and you must include this otherwise it will not work and here these are the wires the settings for different pen of this LCD screen so we are creating an LCD object from this type data type or class and we are passing all these values here so you do not touch this and do not touch this and just follow unless you are running out of pen 11 12 4 3 and all these values if you are changing them these numbers that's fine but make sure that you connect the, those uh, for example d6 to 3 and d7 to 2 and so forth and from here to here this is for the servo servo is part of the arduino ide you don't have to include it anything it's already there we create an object the same way that we create there we create an object of the type servo and then we attach we say that pen a0 which is reading the potentiometer should be uh, we are defining it here so we use this one pen pot pen or potentiometer pen and val is the value for the potentiometer reading angle is the angle that is set so you don't do anything here and on unless a0 is not available you change only this from here to here we say lcd begin so this is initializing the lcd because our lcd is, has 16 character and two line we mentioned that here and after that this is for the servo and we say servo is connected to pin 9 so we are attaching attaching uh, servo to pin 9 this is a text that just prints and it says servo knob on the screen which i'm going to explain it inside the loop so here we are reading the pot pen which is pen 9 and we are reading analog read and the value is stored in val so this is reading the value between 0 and 1023 for the potentiometer and the map the job of the map is to get that value this value get it which is from 0 to 1023 and convert it to a number relative to 0 to 180 what it means is uh, if the value is of potentiometer is zero the angle is zero if the, the value is 1023 the angle is 180 and any other value between these two accordingly will be calculated and the result will be here as an angle and then here we say my servo dot right and this angle whatever is the angle we send that angle so to that location this portion is for the uh, LCD from here to here. This portion is for the LCD and here we say clear it clears whatever was written here before and then we say set cursor at 0 0 0 0 means set it at 0 a character 0 of line 0 this is line 0 that's line 1 and that's character 0 1 2 3 up to 15 which is 16 character and then we print this pot which means potentiometer value up to here and then we set the cursor after that at character 11 line 0 that line 0 character 11 is here and we say print val this val is a value that is coming from here from potentiometer so we are printing the value as you can see it here after this we set as a character 0 line 1 this means character 0 line 1 that was line 0 line 1 and then we print this text this text with extra space I wanted to make sure that these are aligned together so they look beautiful and then this line uh, prints, uh, sets the cursor at character 11 line 1 character 11 
line 1 is here this was character 11 line 0 and then we print the angle which has been calculated here so the value will be printed as you can see now this is demonstration again even though I showed you at the beginning but to just clarify here now it shows that 140 degrees uh, 24 degrees and the value of potentiometer is 140 so if I rotate it to the right as you can see fully now it's at 180 degrees on the other side and the maximum value is 1023 and I went clockwise so if I go counterclockwise on this side as you can see the value is changing I can go quick that's around zero degrees uh, the direction of that will be determined by these two wires the two sides if you switch it the rotation will make a different effect so let me change that now it's 180 and if I go to the right it's zero if I go to the left counterclockwise it's 180 so I just swap these two wires one was from five and zero so just switch them until you see the right direction that you want thank you for watching this was how to use this LCD with a servo and get the values on the screen and control it with the knob uh, please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming video take care